Hello everybody, XCBiscuit here. In today's video we're gonna be building a diesel Ford Bronco from 1975 as well as a Jaguar F-Type from 2015 and I can only tell you that much, this is gonna look amazing and sound awesome. Enjoy the video guys! So there it is, the 1975 Ford Bronco in its beauty. Currently it's still completely stock and yeah, let's take it out for a spin. Um, we're currently at our Casa Vella, close to Mullere or Mullere, however you call it. And I'm just yeah, cruising with the car a bit, gonna take it off-road as well. And yeah, see how it handles basically, how it, how it sounds. And yeah, also enjoying the scenery. And yeah, if I'm not mistaken, currently I think we have a V8, but let's see afterwards exactly what options we're gonna have to, to put into this car. But as of now, yeah, let's check out the scenery. It's always very nice from up here. You see the whole festival as well as the volcano. So yeah, now we're in the garage and let's check out what options we have in terms of engine upgrades. I mean they all sound pretty aggressive but we all agree here we go for the diesel one and yeah all wheel drives already installed and let's see what other upgrades we have to put in So let's install now the last piece of upgrade and we'll reach roughly 1050 horsepower, which is rather a lot for such a small car. So now at this point we're basically gonna be installing all the other upgrades such as transmission, we're gonna remove some weight, but also we're gonna actually make this car a convertible and in my opinion it just looks amazing, just check it out. Alright, and after putting now some new wheels onto the car, let's take it out for its first spin. And I would have to say, after the first seconds now, the engine sounds really nice. And also the acceleration is just crazy crazy with those 1050 horsepower it really just pulls across the whole mountain right here and yeah I think the handling also is pretty great um, I think I've, even though I've driven better cars than that um, it's just really fun to drive and it just looks epic uh, as a convertible just a convertible engine it looks like the the Range Rover Evoque um, actually not that I think they, they didn't add that yet to Forza Horizon 5 so yeah, let me know what you think. But now let's actually change the tune a bit because I still think um, the car accelerated a bit too fast but didn't reach that high velocity. And yeah, let's try to send it one last time over those mountains right here. And if I'm not mistaken, if we really send it over that mountain right here, we should land very close to our casa. Exactly, yeah, there's the Casa Bella right down there. And yeah, that's basically it for the first part of this video. Now we're gonna be looking at the Jaguar F-Type R from 2015. 
Now currently the car is still stuck and yeah let's just take it out for a spin and see how it sounds, see how it drives and obviously we're gonna then modify the car to make it look really nice. And I really think we can agree on this point right here. The car already sounds amazing, just stock. Um, I mean, this V8, this car has, sounds very, very aggressive, but driving it just in third or fourth gear, the car just sounds excellent, at least in my opinion. But now let's take it down to the highway and yeah, let's, let's push the car a bit more. Right. I mean, somehow we just survived that, driving on the wrong side of the road, at least for me. Um, but yeah, let's take it back to the festival, put in some upgrades and yeah, see how we can max out this car. I mean, it really sounded nicely already now, um, but I think in terms of top speed, we can certainly improve things a bit. So welcome back to the festival. We're going to be looking now at the first body kit. Personally, I don't like it that much. It looks a bit too hot wheel-ish. Uh, but yeah, let's check out the engines. I mean, they all sound brutal, but I think first we go with, again with stock engine and do some upgrades on the stock engine itself. So now we're basically going to do all the leftover upgrades, meaning we're going to reduce some weight. Again, as in the Ford Bronco, we're going to yeah, check out what are their other visual upgrades. And yeah, we're then going to take it for our first spin with the, a rather not extensive upgrade but before we're gonna do that we're actually gonna look at the paint job of this car i already have something very sweet in mind so i always love those highland greens so i definitely wanted to go for a highland green as well and yeah we're just gonna make the rims black and i would say the brake pistons we're gonna keep them as they are since i think the yellow also really or it's a gold yellow looks pretty great on that car and yeah having done that we'll then move on to our first test drive I don't know what you guys think. I think stock sounded a bit better for me than it's sounding now. Um, of course, it's faster and stuff. Handling's a bit better. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna have to upgrade the car quite a bit more. Um, so yeah, let's head back to festival. So in order not to drag you guys again through an upgrade uh, session, and we're gonna just swap in a 7.7 liter V12, the racing engine. And yeah, max it out completely, put on a nice spoiler, and it's gonna actually look very neatly. And yeah, we're gonna be ending up with around 1300 horsepower overall, 1307 to be exact. And I think the car, we're gonna see it very soon on the streets, sounds absolutely crazy. And I hope you also wanna build that car because 
it just um, yeah it's a dream driving that car through the deserts of mexico so now we're gonna take the car down to the drag strip but before we're gonna do that we also want to look into the tune section real quick in case there's anything we might want to be adjusting so we see here that the gearing doesn't look too bad but let's make it a bit more towards speed and doing so we actually want to change the aerodynamics a bit that we also achieve a bit higher speeds even though we sacrifice a bit the handling in the corners um, but yeah after doing that we'll be taking it now on the drag strip and see what velocities we can reach As we just saw, we didn't really reach supercar velocities, neither the one from the Taycan, for example. Um, but I think the car just looks absolutely stunning, especially the rear wing, um, makes the car look really badass. And also the sound now with the new 7.7 liter V12 makes this car an absolute beast. And I really enjoy driving that car through the um, roads of Mexico. And yeah, I would like to end the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me um, please leave a like and subscribe my channel and yeah hope to see you soon and please please let me know in case you want to see me featuring a car you would like to see and yeah peace out